Hello guys, welcome back to another Windows tutorial. So today I'm going to show you guys a program called Smart Folders. It's an installer program that allows you to go ahead and move large amounts of data and create a folder automatically without having to create a folder manually. And what I'll show you is with this program when you go ahead and install it, all you have to do is just double click on it. Just press install. It'll give you a confirmation that it has installed and it'll go ahead and restart the Explorer. Once that happens, you can go ahead and exit that out real quick like. And with these pictures right here that I have, I'm going to create a folder without actually creating a folder manually. So all I have to do is just go ahead and highlight the ones that I want. And with the last file that I plan on putting in a folder, that's the one I grab these files with and hover over. So I have all these files and all I have to do is just move them on top of the last file that I would have put into a folder and then a folder would be created and I can go ahead and rename it called wallpapers for Windows 8 and then I can go ahead and press OK and then the folder is created and all the wallpapers have been moved inside this folder. That way I have a more organized way of moving files to folders without actually creating them because they're automatically created using this program. This is far much different than what you would normally see with Windows Vista all the way through Windows 98. This actually is a little bit innovative in terms of Windows because this is exactly the same technology that you would find in iOS and also Android where you get to go ahead and create those drop-in folders to where you, all you have to do is just hover an app over an app and then it creates a bucket-like folder. That's the same technology that this is exactly doing. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and show you exactly how easy it is again. Just say, for example, you do have a cluttered desktop and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pick only a few. All you have to do is just hold down the control button on your keyboard with the last file that you do plan on putting in a folder without selecting it. Grab the ones that you do have and just hover them over onto that file. And then it'll create a folder allowing you to go ahead and rename it. I can go ahead and name it Windows 8 Wallpaper 2 and then press OK. And then another folder will be created automatically with that name that I had given it with those files that I had selected inside them. So if you like this program, you can go ahead and use it. There's nothing that you need to do necessarily other than just press a button. And if you are disinterested with this and it does seem like something that you don't want, all you have to do is just go ahead and click on it once more. Press uninstall. It'll go ahead and say it has been uninstalled. File Explorer will go ahead and restart. And there you have it. In regards to the register for a specific extension, the file extension, some extensions do require them to be specified. So example, if you have a Photoshop file, it would be best to put it at PSD or JPEG or etc. That way it can go ahead and register that particular file. All in all, all file extensions are available by default for this program, so you should have no problem moving any file on top of each other creating that folder that you want. So if you guys like this program, go ahead and download it to your advantage. And until next time, guys, see you later. Bye.